primary mission of the field artillery is support of the infantry and armor. Its weapons must sustain the fast-moving capabilities and wide dispersion of these ground-gaining arms in the strategic and tactical complexities of modern warfare. The requirements of this mission, therefore, range from close support to long-range nuclear fire support of the field army. To meet these requirements, the field artillery maintains high explosive and nuclear capabilities in cannon, free rocket, and guided missile systems. This full range of capabilities sustains the field artillery's established reputation as one of the greatest casualty producing agencies employed on the field of battle. Whatever its assignment and mission, each field artillery weapon must be in position and ready to fire at the appointed time. To accomplish this, Three basic characteristics are essential in its design. Mobility. Artillery must be at least as mobile as the ground-gaining arms it supports. It should be capable of cross-country operations and negotiating inland waterways. Whether its mission is to support an infantry unit or an entire field army, it must be able to move over terrain at relatively high speeds. Stability. In order to maintain the high accuracy provided by modern fire direction center techniques, the emplaced weapon must withstand the shock of firing and remain in place. Flexibility. The ability to deliver fire over a wide front and at high angle of elevation without time-consuming shifts is further essential to support widely dispersed units. The towed 105mm howitzer M101A1 is the light artillery weapon of the infantry division. Capable of close and continuous fire, it normally functions in a direct support role. Stability is provided by the split trails which are spread to emplace it in the firing position. This two and one half ton weapon can be manhandled by its eight man crew and emplaced in about three minutes. On carriage fire control instruments include the range quadrant used in laying for elevation, and the panoramic telescope for laying for direction. Minimum elevation is minus 89 mils. Maximum elevation is 1,156 mils. A pencil type mechanism allows 809 mils of traverse. This weapon fires semi-fixed conventional ammunition hurling its 33-pound projectile to a maximum range of 11,000 meters. Like other field artillery howitzers, it also has direct fire and high-angle capabilities. Maximum rate of fire is 10 rounds per minute for three minutes, and the sustained rate of fire is three rounds per minute. There are three batteries of six towed 105 millimeter howitzers in each battalion and three battalions in the infantry division artillery. The towed 105 millimeter howitzer M102 is almost one ton lighter than the M101A1 and is a weapon of greatly increased flexibility. A ball and socket type traverse provides a full 6,400 mil traverse capability. It can be moved not only by jeep or helicopter, but parachuted into areas otherwise inaccessible as artillery positions. Its longer tube is designed to fire either standard or extended range ammunition. 
An extended range capability allows engagement of targets at up to 14,800 meters, a 3,300 advantage over standard range ammunition. Maximum elevation to 1,333 mils permits attack of extremely close targets with high angle fire. The same tube as on the M102 is employed on the self propelled 105 millimeter howitzer M108. On this weapon, the tube is fitted with a chamber evacuator to pull gases out through the muzzle, providing crew comfort and safety. The full 6,400 mil turret traverse of the M108 gives it the flexibility required in modern self-propelled cannon artillery. Traversing is accomplished manually. Elevation is also manual, from a minimum of minus 106 mils to maximum of 1,333 mils. It fires both standard and extended range ammunition. Loading is accomplished manually. The rates of fire are the same as the towed versions. Recoil is held to only about 12 inches by a concentric hydrospring mechanism. With its small crew of seven, the self-propelled 105 millimeter howitzer has space in the crew compartment to carry an ammunition load of 87 complete rounds. of aluminum armor plate, the M108's 24-ton combat weight is four tons less than that of the earlier self-propelled 105mm howitzer. Its 450 horsepower diesel engine sustains a cruising speed of 35 miles per hour and a range of 220 miles. Toad 155mm howitzer proved its combat effectiveness beyond doubt in the global theaters of operations during World War II and in Korea. The M114A1 model, which also has a nuclear capability, weighs six tons. It is normally towed by a five-ton truck which carries its crew and ammunition. Emplacement of the towed 155 millimeter howitzer takes about five minutes. Stability is provided by three-point suspension, two of which are the welded steel trails spread at wide angles from the carriage. The third point is provided by the firing jack on the bottom carriage, which supports the weight of the front part of the weapon when the wheels are raised from the ground. The gunner lays for both deflection and elevation. Its maximum traverse is 448 mils to the right, 418 mils to the left of center. The projectile is inserted and manually rammed. Maximum range for the 95 pound high explosive projectile is 14,600 meters. Like traversing, elevation is manual, from a zero minimum to a maximum of 1,156 mils. A variable recoil mechanism makes high angle fire possible without digging a recoil pit. Sustained rate of fire is one round per minute. Maximum rate of fire is four rounds per minute for three minutes.
Three batteries of six weapons each are assigned to infantry division artillery. Like other howitzers, this weapon can also handle direct fire missions effectively. The self-propelled 155mm howitzer M109 employs the same diesel engine, chassis, and transmission as the M108. The weapon is serviced by a crew of 10 and carries 28 complete rounds of ammunition. The increased shock of firing extended range ammunition requires use of spades to maintain weapon stability. The separate loading ammunition is standard or extended range, conventional or nuclear. Loading is accomplished by aligning the tube with the power rammer. The projectile is rammed by a hydraulically powered system. The weapon's sustained rate of fire is one round per minute. Its maximum rate of fire is four rounds per minute for three minutes. Hydraulically powered traverse and elevation mechanisms can be operated from the gunner's position. The turret traverses rapidly through a full 6,400 mils, and power elevation raises or lowers the tube between minus 53 mils to maximum elevation of 1,333 mils. It fires standard ammunition to a maximum range of 14,600 meters. and extended range ammunition up to 18,100 meters. Recoil is variable, and its force is checked by a hydro-pneumatic recoil mechanism. The muzzle brake also helps to reduce recoil. Toxic gases are kept from passing back into the cab by the chamber evacuator. This full-tracked, armored, highly mobile support weapon is found in units of the armored and mechanized infantry divisions. The 8-inch howitzer M115 towed adds a devastating extra punch to division artillery. The combat-proven 8-inch howitzer is one of artillery's most respected weapons. The M115 howitzer delivers its 200-pound projectile on targets at ranges up to 16,800 meters. And is considered to be one of the most accurate weapons in the cannon artillery of the United States Army. Because of its size and weight, this 15-ton weapon requires a longer emplacement time than smaller caliber towed weapons, about 20 minutes. The steel trails are lowered from the prime mover utilizing a chain hoist, spread, and securely emplaced with the rear spades. When the howitzer is lowered to the firing position, the front spades stabilize the bottom carriage as the firing base. Total traverse is 1,066 mils, 533 mils to right and left of center. Like elevation and loading, traverse is accomplished manually. The projectile and charge are inserted at the loading elevation prior to laying for quadrant elevation. The maximum rate of fire is three rounds per two minutes, and the sustained rate of fire is one round per two minutes. Elevation limits are minus 36 mils to maximum of 1,156 mils. The manual effort of raising the tube is greatly reduced by the pneumatic lifter type equilibrators on each side of it. A 
A braking system holds the heavy tube at any angle of elevation during firing. Variable recoil, which is shortest at high angle fire, is automatically adjusted as the tube is raised or depressed. It varies from 29 to 70 inches, as shown on the recoil indicator. One battery of towed 8-inch howitzers is included in the infantry division artillery. The self-propelled 8-inch howitzer M110 employs the same tube as the towed weapon. Range, rate of fire, traverse, and maximum elevation limits are the same as those of the towed 8-inch howitzer. However, traverse, elevation, and loading are accomplished on the self-propelled weapon with hydraulic power. The hydraulic power system greatly increases the speed with which the M110 can engage its targets in its usual general support role. Hydraulic operation of the recoil spade and suspension lockout system, which stabilizes the weapon for firing, reduces its emplacement time to two minutes, greatly enhancing its mobility from one firing position to another. It carries five members of the 13-man crew, the rest traveling in a personnel carrier. Designed specifically for artillery purposes, this rugged, efficient carriage is capable of high speeds on average roads, but can also handle rough terrain, snow, and mud. Its cruising range is 375 miles. Air transportable, the self-propelled 8-inch howitzer is a division, corps, or army support weapon. The self-propelled 175mm gun, M107, is impressive proof of the essential versatility of the carriage, which mounts it interchangeably with the 8-inch howitzer. And placement time for this formidable long-range gun is only three minutes. The shock of its firing is effectively harnessed and transmitted directly to the ground by the suspension lockout system and recoil spade. Separate loading ammunition is handled by the hydraulically operated combination loader and rammer. In one operation, the projectile weighing 147 pounds is picked up and positioned, inserted into the breech, and automatically rammed. The right and left limits of the hydraulically operated traverse, 533 mils, are the same as those for the 8-inch howitzer. A maximum elevation of 1,156 mils the variable recoil and rate of fire are the same as the 8-inch howitzer. The maximum range of this core general support weapon is 32,800 meters. terrain at relatively high speeds. Stability. In order to maintain the high accuracy provided by modern fire direction center techniques, the emplaced weapon must withstand the shock of firing and remain in place. Flexibility. The ability to deliver fire over a wide front and at high angle of elevation without time-consuming shift. To meet these requirements, the field artillery maintains high explosive and nuclear capabilities in cannon, free rocket, 
and guided missile systems. This full range of capabilities sustains the field artillery's established reputation as one of the greatest casualty producing agencies employed on the field of battle. Whatever its assignment and mission, each field artillery weapon must be in position and ready to fire at the appointed time. The primary mission of the field artillery is support of the infantry and armor. Its weapons must sustain the fast-moving capabilities and wide dispersion of these ground-gaining arms in the strategic and tactical complexities of modern warfare. The requirements of this mission, therefore, range from close support to long-range nuclear fire support of the field army. To accomplish this, three basic characteristics are essential in its design. Mobility. Artillery must be at least as mobile as the ground-gaining arms it supports. It should be capable of cross-country operations and negotiating inland waterways. Whether its mission is to support an infantry unit or an entire field army, it must be able to...